He bought it for a dollar and it sold in nine minutes for $129.99 plus international shipping to the UK. After a bunch of second guessing and additional research using WorthPoint, I feel like I priced it just right. Mm, Jerry. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about big money bolos. And some of these are going to be unexpected. I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. And some of these are gonna knock your socks off. I posted this, share your best March bolo in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, which looks like this. If you're not a member of my Facebook group, definitely go join, it is free. Um, basically I post this and I invite everyone in the group to share their best bolo of the month. They have to tell me where they got it, what they paid for it and what it sold for. And then I bring it to you in video format and this helps everyone learn. So we are going to dig right in and get started. The first one says it's from She Picker. That is her, um, YouTube channel and her eBay store is two sisters, uh, two sister pickers. And I'm going to explain that in a minute. But she is a Bolo Buddies member, which means she has joined my YouTube channel for perks at level two. And there's more information down in the description about that. My sister Debbie is my business partner. So that's how they got their eBay store name. And she found this at an estate sale for five bucks. We weren't sure what kind of lamp it was. After researching, we found out it's an antique oil lamp. We listed it for 40 and it sold within an hour. If we underpriced it, we're fine with that because we were excited to get what we did and hopefully the buyer feels they got a good deal as well. I bought it for five and sold it for 40. This is what it looks like. Antique oil lamp, Hong Kong. All right. Clearing out some of my grandparents' items and found their old Nextel cell phones. They were in near perfect condition, had the charger, still turned on, even had sealed VHS that came with it. Listed one of them for 60 and it sat for a couple weeks before selling at full price. It's not a crazy price, but definitely taught me it's worth checking out old technology. Definitely. That is awesome. Check it out. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member, YouTube channel, Stellar Seller Sam. I purchased this tech textbook at the bins. I didn't pay attention to the title, just trying to sell more books. Oh, what a mistake. When I went to list it, I flipped through the pages to make sure they were clean. Now I can't unsee what I saw. Eek! Reselling textbooks is great. Textbooks about embalming? Ugh, not so great. Oh my goodness. Well, it says embalming history theory practice fifth edition book, Robert G. Mayer, H.C. Clean. Sold for $45 plus shipping. Yeah. That's interesting right there for sure. Eek. I don't think I would want to flip through that either. This one comes from Faraday's Flipper, who is also a Bolo Buddies member, and this is her eBay store. Uh, let's see. She is Faraday's Flipper on eBay, Mercari, and Facebook Marketplace. I got this from my in-law's estate. I listed it on Mercari on 318, and I took a best offer of $28 on 325, and she paid the shipping. It is a Mad Magazine Spy vs. Spy complete case book, Antoni Antonio Pro Prohe Prohas. I don't know how to say it. Norman Mingo. So it's a Mad Magazine, and some of those can go for big buckaroos. So definitely look up any Mad Magazines that you may see. The next item comes from the Kits Kitchy Canson eBay store. Found this at a local flea market, paid up at 45 because I felt like it was something good. This is a small lantern. The globe is only two inches. Had a few lower offers right off the bat, but held out in four days after listing it, sold for full asking of $300. It's now on its way to Germany. It is a near, oh man, you guys are getting me with the words. Near Furahand, Super Baby, number 175, Jenna Glass Globe Black Lantern, Germany. This is what it looks like. The next one paid up because I knew that this, what this brand was. Paid 40 at a kid's consignment. Pop-up store. 
turned down about five offers in two days and took the offer at 170 plus shipping because my store-wide 10% off would have made it 180 and I wasn't going to turn down with only a $10 difference. Tracks us, Traxxas, T-R-A-X-X-A-S, very based on the model, but most are 200 or more. Wow, I've never heard of this. This is what it looks like. It is a Traxxas Revo 116 brushed all stock one battery remote. Hard to find video. See video. So it looks like it's a remote control car, possibly. Not the greatest big money, but easy to list, ship, and find. When I shared something about glasses in the Facebook group, many people didn't realize you can sell frames only glasses. Doesn't matter the prescription or if they are sunglasses. Find unique design and a name brand for a dollar like these Gwen Stefani and you can get 20 plus. These I took a $30 offer on. Same day I sold Sophia Loren glasses for 25. So um, you definitely want to put frames only. If you can pop the lenses out or take them into a... Um, eyeglass place and have them pop the lenses out, that is better because you're not allowed to sell um, prescriptions on um, eBay, but you can pop the lenses out. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard. Um, a lot of people just choose to put frames only in the title. Let me know if anyone has had an issue with that um, down in the comments. I've been a collector of Hadley Potter for years, over 40, that's all I'm saying. I had this country pattern which features a farm with all the things you'd find on a far farm hand painted on each piece and signed. When they announced they were closing, I put my Hadley on Etsy. I put a fairly high price and to my amazement, I sold 14 pieces totaling $1,185. That was right before Christmas season. After Christmas, I had one sale. I think someone else has bought the business. Young male entrepreneur. He's going to modernize everything, which means it's ruined. That is her opinion. Um, I don't know if you guys agree or disagree. I'm just reading what she wrote. Um, it was all made so primitively there on site. The perfect ones sold in stores. The seconds were sold in this factory store. They have other patterns, but this is the one I really fell in, or I was really in love with. I got plenty left for myself. So I guess what she is saying is because they are going out of business and under new ownership, they're going to be changing how they look. So the older ones have a higher demand and are going for more money. She sold these for over a thousand dollars. Here's another one. This very hard to find Pyrex set I sold on XC. Etsy for 325. I was given them as a gift. I had no idea that pattern was so rare. The pattern is Pyrex Pink Cinderella Bake and Store Amish Butterprint. This was a three piece set with lids that had hardly been used, also called Amish Farmer and Wife Buttercup, Rooster and Corn. You don't see butter print pattern appearing in pink very often. It's usually blue. Okay, so there's a lot of great tips. I have done some videos on Pyrex. Pyrex is really tricky because it can vary, like it can be a certain pattern on a certain um, size or shape that can make it more valuable. So you really have to know your Pyrex to know which ones go for big money, but some of them can go for crazy money. T put in Bolo Buddies Pyrex if you want to see some craziness. I've done some research videos on these. Um, I call them Bolo Category videos, and I have a whole bunch of those on my channel. Um, if you go to the Bolo Category videos playlist, you will see category videos such as bathroom bolos, things you find in the bathroom, Halloween, Easter, Christmas. Um, I just have so many plush um, by brand or by style, just Y2K. Oh my goodness, you got to check that one out. Um, that one was pretty unbelievable. So Bolo Category Videos playlist, definitely check that out. Bolo Buddies member Champagne Taste 73. This is her eBay store. Beautiful, man, I cannot talk tonight. Let's try that again beautiful brooch that I listed for 195 originally sent out an offer for 165 received a counter of 150 and took it. 
I purchased this for $5, maybe 10 at an antique junk store. It went to an international buyer. It's an antique brooch, Art Nouveau. Yep, those of you that have been here a while, I finally figured out that word, Art Nouveau. Uh, Tremblant, perfect, well-made, and this is what it looks like. This next one comes from Bolo Buddies member YouTube channel, Piece of Scrap, on YouTube. Paid $9 at the Goodwill, accepted a best offer of 70 plus 12 shipping within days of listing. They are Mizuno Wave Prophecy 3 Men's Size 9 Running Sneakers. Not, uh, best offer of 70. Hmm. I don't do a lot of shoes. I probably should uh, dabble with shoes more, but they're just not really my thing. You know how you have things that you love and things that you don't like to list? Shoes are kind of on my, I don't like to list. A lot of them are smelly. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments, which item or items you don't like to list. Not because there's not good profit margins there, but just because you don't like to list it. So I told you mine. I do list them from time to time, but not a huge fan. Um, I know uh, like a rural squirrel, if you watch her Goodwill Benz videos, she finds the most amazing shoes at her Goodwill Benz. Definitely go and sub her up. I will link her down below. She is also a Bolo Buddies member. Um, I don't think she shared anything this month. I think she um, got sidetracked and forgot, but I am going to shout out her channel here and tell you guys to go and subscribe. All right, got this 1987 Amtoy Floppa Lots Lavender Patchwork Bunny Rabbit for 25 cents at a thrift store. Sold for full asking price of 60 for a total of 70.12, including tax and shipping. Wow, this one's cool, you guys. If you don't know, I love flush. Vintage 1987 Amtoy Floppa Lots Lavender Patchwork Bunny. Do you love it? Sold in three days. Wow. That's awesome. Research on this plush indicated it was rare. So I went for a higher asking price than comps were showing. I picked it up at an animal shelter benefit rummage sale, paid a dollar, sold in nine minutes. Jerry, we've talked about this in many of my videos and I know you watch them. When are you gonna start the auction at a high price if you can't find any solds? We've talked about this. Jerry is Jersey Shore Thrifter, and him and his wife have been longtime viewers of the channel. And I always like to give Jerry a hard time because um, he always has a great sense of humor and um, he always has great things to say in his comments when he posts. So I'm going to give you a hard time, Jerry, and I'm going to say that you should have started this auction at $129.99 and seen what happened. Will you do that for me? Will you do that for me, Jerry? I know many of you have posted in the Facebook group that you have tried this method and it has worked for you and it has definitely worked for me, but it has also not worked for me and the item doesn't sell, but that's no big deal because then I just relist it at a buy it now or best offer at a higher price and then I wait for the right buyer. Um, if you can't find anything like it anywhere, go for that auction and start the auction high. Because, now I don't recommend starting the auction low. I recommend starting it at what you would list it at, at a buy it now based on comps. Okay. So anyway, back to it. He bought it for a dollar and it sold in nine minutes for $129.99 plus international shipping to the UK. After a bunch of second guessing and additional research using WorthPoint, I feel like I priced it just right. Mm, Jerry, I don't know. You may have priced it just right. It is a Malig bunny rabbit size four size four 24 inch stuffed animal girl flower easter rare oop i don't know what oop is oop i don't know this is what it looks like all right jerry i want to see your comment let me know all right like i said i'm just giving jerry a hard time he he thinks he he did research and he thinks he priced it just right so he probably did Bought at a boot sale, boot sale, flea market for, oh, okay. Um, I don't know what this symbol is. I don't know what country. Eek. For 15, sold for $149.99, approximately, approximately $190. Survive shipping. Um, 
Which country uses the word boot sale? Let me know down in the comments. I know I've heard it on a channel I watch. Is it Australia? I think it might be Australia. I could be totally wrong. You guys let me know. But um, they've got in parentheses flea market. It is a Coronation Street hand-painted complete the street merchandise house set. So I don't know. Um, oh, approximately 190 survive shipping. So I don't know if that's the U.S. conversion or not, but this is what it looks like. Bought this vintage Alice Cavaness brooch from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube auction for $80. I think I remember seeing this one. Sold within hours on eBay for $200 to an international buyer. Paid up for it, but knew I could at least double my investment. And she did. And she made 200 bucks on this. And it is a beautiful brooch. Beautiful. Alice Cavanese Vintage 1950s brooch. Three inch flawed emerald domed green rhinestone rare. It looks like it even has a little flaw on it and sold it for 200 bucks. That is amazing. And she bought it from Donatella Bottolino. This is her YouTube channel. She is now selling on Whatnot under the name Donatella only. And um, I do have a Whatnot referral link down below. If you use that to join, you will get $15 to shop. That is my referral link. And definitely follow me. I am Bolo Buddies over on Whatnot also. All right, so she definitely flipped that for a great profit. If you guys missed my unsigned brooches that go for big money, it looks like this. You got to go watch that video. I also did one on clip-on earrings. These two videos are going to knock your socks off. They are category videos, which means I do a deep dive search and look for bolos to help me learn and to help you guys learn. I am definitely not an expert on brooches or clip-ons, but I do like to learn and I like to teach. So that is how I do it with my bolo category videos. This one comes from, what did she sell? I cannot even remember where I picked this up since it's been over two years. Even though I thought it was kooky enough that it would sell fast, it took the right buyer. I paid $5 and it sold on Etsy. It's a vintage MCM atomic desk accessory. And this is what it looks like. And I'm trying to see it sold for $55. And this is her YouTube channel. Definitely go and sub her up. She sells really different items than I sell. You will definitely learn from her channel. She also has a store and just incredible haul videos. You will learn so much keywords and beautiful breakables <laughs> that I don't list. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Let me know which was your favorite bolo down in the comments. And there's going to be some videos popping up here and here. A subscribe down below. If you like the channel, definitely be sure to subscribe. Let me know how you found the channel and Thanks for watching.